So you just got your sister locks. Now you need to know how to braid and band. So this is going to be a quick video. We're getting right to the point on how to braid and band your hair. You can also do this with a two strand twist. First thing you want to do is gather a section. Now I always um, mo moisturize my hair. Anytime I'm trying to manipulate it, I squirt a little water on it. Um, that's optional. Uh, but you want to make sure that you're separating your hairs and you don't have any of your hairs that are sort of sticking together or trying to marry. So what I'm going to do is start my braid or this could be a two strand twist. The most important thing you want to remember is that you save space between your scalp and the braid so that your fingers can fit in there during your shampoo process. You do not want to braid close to the scalp, so make sure you save some space. And if your hair is short, you may not be able to braid and band it at all. I mean, to braid it, you may just have to tuck the end under with a rubber band. So when you get to, when I get to the end, I change my braid to a two strand twist, just so that it's easier to take down when I'm done. Um, so this will depend on the length of hair that you have if you'll be able to do this part But I just like to change it to a two strand twist and after the two strand twist I do a simple loop at the bottom and this is where you will actually place your Rubber band on now. I don't really like to use rubber bands. I use scrunchies and so I just put that at the bottom of my hair so this was a quick video. Congratulations on getting your sister locks on how I like to braid and band my hair. Thank you so much for watching my video. This is your girl Rich Roots. Don't forget to click that notification bell and I will see you on the very next upload. Peace.